Okay, it takes the minute for the attendees to start coming in and here they come. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start there. I'm going to first share my screen and I know we're going to get more attendees kind of as they, as they, as we go on. Okay, so first I want to welcome everyone, especially our panelists. Um, right now you're in the Adelphi University session. Um, just a few housekeeping notes for students. Um, you are muted and your camera's turned off. So the panelists cannot see you or hear you. So you can ask questions just using the Q&A box, which if you scroll your mouse over near the bottom of your uh, Zoom screen, you should see it. It should show up, just click on it and then you can put in your questions. And hopefully by the end of the session, the panelists will be able to answer your questions. Um, Want to remind you that this session is being recorded and it will be posted on the website at uh, njacac slash virtual affairs um, within a week or so, they say. So if you miss something, want to go back, you can go always go back and look at it. And remind you that you can also sign up for more sessions um, from different schools, same website, njacac.org slash virtual affair. And so with that, uh, welcome panelists, and I'm going to sign off and have a good time, everybody. Awesome. Uh, well, thank you all so much for joining us and we're definitely really excited that we're going to have this recorded. So hopefully if maybe you're joining us digitally and watching the recording now, but welcome. Uh, my name is Michael Cartusiello. I'm an Associate Director of Admissions at Adelphi University. Uh, this is my sixth recruitment cycle, so I've been here for quite some time. Uh, and I'm also currently the President-Elect for the New Jersey Association for College Admissions Counseling. So. I know we're really excited about bringing this program to you all um, and happy to talk to you today. Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Stranary. I'm one of the assistant directors of admissions here at Adelphi. I'm also a proud Adelphi alum. Uh, so really excited to speak to you more about Adelphi today, go over programs, campus life. Uh, please don't be shy about asking any questions in the Q&A feature. We're really excited to answer any questions for you. I'll briefly allow our student ambassadors to introduce themselves and then we'll go ahead and get started. Hi everyone, I'm Sierra. I'm a junior at Adelphi. I commute to Adelphi and I study communications with a concentration in digital production and I minor in acting. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm also a junior at Adelphi. I'm a biology major. Um, I'm also in the Levermore Global Scholars Program and our Scholar Teacher um, Education Program. Um, and I'm a resident on campus. Wonderful. So we'll go ahead and get started. And once again, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. We're really excited to answer them for you. Uh, so as I mentioned, my name is Lauren Schneeri. I'm one of the Assistant Directors of Admissions here at Adelphi, also a proud Adelphi alum. So Adelphi is a beautiful private liberal arts university located in Garden City, Long Island, New York. We are a medium-sized school. So here at Adelphi, we do have about 5,000 undergraduate students and about 3,000 grad students for around a grand total of 8,000 students here on campus, which in my opinion was the perfect amount. Never felt lost in the shuffle, yet you always have the opportunity to make a new friend every day. So something that we're really proud of here at Adelphi is our diversity on campus. As you can see from the pie chart, about 45% of our students do identify as being diverse based on a study that was recently conducted. We actually have won the Insight to Diversity Heat Award for the past two years, so something that we're really proud of. Last year's incoming class was the most diverse class that we've had thus far, and each year we're continuing to grow in diversity in terms of the incoming class. As you can see on the right hand side, we have 58 countries represented and 41 states represented here at Adelphi. So during my time as a student, I had friends from all different backgrounds, all different walks of life. So I had friends from Italy, Italy, Norway, China, even Australia, as well as in the states such as Maine, California, Florida. So again, it's a wonderful opportunity to meet students from all different backgrounds, all different walks of life. As you can see on the lower left hand side, our average class size here at Adelphi is 21 students. 
So here at Adelphi, you're not just a social security number or a floating face in a lecture hall. Your professors will actually get to know you on a personal basis and vice versa. Uh, so one thing I always appreciated was anytime I'd go to my professor's office hours, they always knew what I was struggling with, what I was doing well with, and how they could best assist me. And lastly, a statistic that we're really proud of that I'd love to share with you is that 95% of our students have jobs or in grad school within six months of graduation. So I can confidently say that Adelphi sets students up for success in the real world. So we offer so many accommodations and resources available to students to not only succeed during their four years at Adelphi, but in their future as well. So moving on, we do have six academic schools and colleges here at Adelphi. I'm more than happy to run through them all, uh, just to give a little bit of insight about each of the different colleges. If there is one in particular that you're really interested in learning more about, please don't hesitate to write in the Q&A, and we can certainly discuss that in more depth. And so I will start by saying that we do have over 50 majors for students to choose from here at Adelphi. If you're undecided on a major, please know that that is totally okay. Here at Adelphi, we do not have students declare their major until the end of their sophomore year, typically after the completion of 60 college credits. So you have plenty of time to take your general education requirements, take your elective courses, work with your advisor, and find the right fit for you. So first and foremost is our College of Arts and Sciences. So this houses everything from biology, chemistry, physics, biochemistry, as well as our humanities, as well as communications, sociology, criminal justice, and even our performing arts. So we do have an amazing performing arts department here at Adelphi. So if you're interested in anything such as dance, theater, acting, we do have that. Please keep in mind that there is a additional component uh, for admissions. If you are interested in performing arts, you do have to either audition or submit a portfolio for review. But what's really great with performing arts is that there is a talent scholarship available for those students that are in that program. Moving on, we have our College of Education and Health Sciences. So for anyone who's interested in becoming a teacher, we have what's called our Scholar Teacher Education Program, commonly abbreviated to STEP. So essentially what that is, is four years for your bachelor's and a fifth year for your master's. So after five years, you walk away with both a bachelor's and a master's, and you can uh, concentrate in TESOL, which is teaching English as a second language, childhood education, or even adolescent education. Uh, so one thing that's really great is Adelphi has great networking and connections with uh, local school districts in the area. So a lot of my friends ended up getting full-time jobs at the schools that they did their student teaching at. Next, we have our College of Nursing and Public Health. So if anyone here is interested in becoming a nurse, that is one of our most popular majors here at Adelphi. It is direct entry for first year students. So essentially, if you indicate an interest in nursing on your application and you meet the criteria for acceptance to Adelphi, you would automatically be enrolled into our nursing program. Come your junior year is when students start working in our state of the art simulation labs. So we actually have mannequins on campus that sweat, bleed, even give birth. So it is a wonderful hands on experience. So that way, when you go into your clinical rotations at the hospitals, you feel confident in your abilities. So some of the uh, networks that we do have um, connections with and some hospitals include Northwell Health, LIJ, as well as Memorial Sloan Kettering, as well as many others. So similarly to my friends that were in the education program here at Adelphi, a lot of my friends that were in nursing at Adelphi ended up getting jobs at the hospitals that they did their clinical rotations at. So again, it's, uh, they know the caliber of Adelphi student and are really excited to hire after experiencing their work. Next, we have our Gordon F. Durner School of Psychology and our School of Social Work. So both of those schools do go all the way up to the PhD level. So you can essentially stay here all the way up through that. So our psychoanalysis program for psychology is actually ranked fourth in the world, which is something that we're really proud of. And with psychology, you do have two different avenues you can go down. We offer neuroscience or general psychology. We also do have a four plus one program for psychology, similarly to our education programs, so essentially four years for your bachelor's and a fifth additional year for your master's. So one of my good friends here at Adelphi actually double majored in psychology and criminal justice and now works for the FBI. So similarly to that, you can actually choose to double major here at Adelphi or pair a major with a minor. Um, there might be certain departments you do have to get departmental approval for, but ultimately you are able to double major and again pair it with a minor. Lastly, we have our Robert B. Williams Stead School of Business. So we are AACSB accredited, which is an accreditation that less than 10% of business schools have. So if you're interested in anything such as marketing, management, finance, economics, human resources, or even business undecided, 
we do offer all of those options. One thing I personally love about the business school here at Adelphi is that they have their very own internship office. So um, I had classmates that got internships through that office with companies such as Michael Kors, IBM, 1-800-Flowers, the New York Mets. So we do have a lot of great connections there. And lastly, one thing I'll add, if you look in the top right corner, we actually have the James Riley Jr. trading room. So students actually get a hands-on experience with the stock market, learning all about trading. So again, a wonderful hands-on experience uh, before going into your future career. So moving on, we do have some signature and support programs here at Adelphi. We want our students to not only feel supported, but also engaged on campus. The so first and foremost is our honors college. This is for students who took APs, honors, IBs, or even dual enrollment courses throughout high school that really want to challenge themselves when they get to the college level. So essentially the way that it works is you can indicate an interest in honors college on your application, or if the counselor reviewing you for honors college feels that you would be a good fit, we can certainly always recommend you. It is not guaranteed. You do have to meet the criteria as we're looking for that A student as well as go through an interview component with the Dean of the Honors College. Uh, but it is a wonderful uh, program, signature program to look into. Uh, so if the student were to be accepted into Honors College, there is Honors College scholarship available as well as Honors College housing style um, arrangements for students in one of our residence halls. So my friend actually lived in there her senior year. It is a very cool setup. Next, the Levelmore Global Scholars Program. Those are for students that are globally aware, socially aware, concerned with civic engagement. They do a lot of work with the United Nations. So, in fact, my good friend Jamie was actually in this program, and one of her friends in the program actually does um, is now working for the United Nations. So again, we have a great connection there. And in fact, 100% of students in the Levelmore Global Scholars Program are proficient in a second language. Next, we have our four plus one programs. So as I mentioned earlier with our scholar teachers education program, essentially the four plus one programs are four years for your bachelor's and that fifth year is spent for your master's. So it does shave off time, energy, as well as tuition money. So in addition to our scholar teachers education program, we also offer that for um, computer science, mathematics, psychology, as well as many others. So if you are interested, please don't hesitate to go on our website at any point in time. They actually will label out for you all the different four plus one programs that we offer. So moving on to our support programs here on campus. First and foremost is our Bridges to Adelphi program. So this is for students that are on the autism spectrum to help ease that transition from high school to college. They're given vocational support, academic support, social support, once again, to really ease that transition and help them not only succeed in the classroom, but outside of the classroom as well. We actually just opened up our very first sensory room in the Bridges to Adelphi office. So it's a nice calming space for students to go and decompress. Please keep in mind that Bridges to Adelphi program is one of our fee-for-service fee programs in addition to our learning resource program. So our learning resource program is another fee-for-service program. It's for students with language learning-based disabilities, ADD, ADHD. Essentially, they're given additional counseling, coaching, and support to really succeed both inside the classroom and so on. Next, we have our general studies learning community. This is a first year learning community that gives students a leg up as they transition from high school to college like here. So essentially students in this program are locked into 13 credits as opposed to 15. And then after successful completion of the general studies learning community, students would matriculate into their chosen major come their sophomore year. One thing I do just wanna add quickly about the learning resource program is that you do have to provide your IEP documentation uh, as well. Next, we also have our student access office. So this is a office available to all students free of charge on campus. So whether you need additional test taking time, resources or accommodations, the student access office is available free of charge to all students. Moving on to our joint degree program. So Adelphi has partnered with prestigious universities, as you can see here, NYU, Columbia, as well as many others are up here. So we do have an office of pre-professional advising and fellowship. So these will help you not only get into these partnering schools, for your pre-professional track, but also the school of your choice to continue your education. So we have two different models for our joint degree program. The first is an early assurance program. So essentially what that means is that you have to indicate an interest on your application to Adelphi. Admissions is not guaranteed. You do have to meet the criteria for that partner in school as well as for Adelphi and also go through a interview component. However, if you were to be accepted into one of our programs, you would do a certain amount of years here at Adelphi 
get your liberal arts experience here and then go on to the partnering school. So for example, NYU Dentistry is one of our early assurance programs. So again, you would have to indicate an interest on your application to Adelphi, meet the criteria, go through the interview process. Um, if you were to be accepted, you would do three years here at Adelphi, typically students major in biology, and then go on to get their degree at NYU for dentistry. On the other hand, our non-early assurance programs are programs you would apply to typically the end of your sophomore year, beginning of junior year as an Adelphi student. If you'd work with your academic advisor, make sure that you're on the right track. Once again, admissions is not guaranteed for one of our partnering schools. However, you will work with your advisor and make sure that you have all your ducks in a row to apply. So for example, physical therapy with NYIT is one of our non-early assurance programs. So again, you would apply typically come your junior year. Again, admissions is not guaranteed, but how if you do go through the interview process and are accepted into the program, you would do four years here at Adelphi, typically those students major in exercise science, and then go on to do three years at NYIT, get your doctorate in physical therapy. So once again, we will help uh, students not only get into these partners, schools but the school of their choice as well so if you do have any questions about any of our joint degree programs or any of our pre-professional tracks please don't hesitate to write in the q a and we can certainly clarify for you moving on to my favorite slide what is panther life like so as i mentioned i am a proud adelphi alum one word that i always use when i'm describing adelphi to those who didn't go is the word welcoming a very welcoming campus students and faculty will smile at you, hold the doors for you. I've even had students meal, use meal swipes to assist. Uh, so again, it is a very welcoming environment. And it's also really easy to get involved and make friends here. We have over 80 clubs and organizations on campus. So really anything and everything you could think of, we most likely offer. And if we don't, all you have to do is gather a group of friends together and you can actually be the founders of a club on campus. So we do offer Greek life, community service, religious clubs and organizations, academic clubs and organizations, as well as sports. So if you're interested, we offer intramural as well as club sports. So for example, club soccer or club baseball. Uh, so speaking of sports, we do have 23 NCAA Division II sports teams here at Adelphi. So if you are interested in playing a sport, I do suggest that you fill out the prospective student athlete form, as well as get in contact with the coach. One thing that I always appreciated was that all of our fields and courts are located directly on Adelphi's campus. So it's very easy whether you're playing on a sport or you just want to go and support your friends to be able to do so. So my junior year, for example, I used to watch all of the baseball games directly from my residence hall. So speaking of residence halls, we do have seven residence halls on campus. Each of them does have a little bit of a different vibe to them. Some are a little bit more outgoing, some are a little bit more shy and reserved. Uh, you can certainly look on our website at any point in time to see the difference in the different residence halls offered. So we do have two different style rooms as well. So the first is your traditional room that you'd see in the movies where you have just one other roommate and then your whole floor would share a communal bathroom. And then we have hotel suite style. So Essentially what that is is three roommates in a room and a shared bathroom. So the only catch there is that you do have to clean that bathroom. But I actually lived in that arrangement my junior and senior year and I absolutely loved it. One thing I'll also add in is that the resident hall directors and assistants, they're like your big brothers and sisters on campus in the residence halls. They're always putting on fun events. So my time as a student here at Adelphi, I went to a spa event, puppy therapy event, Mario Kart event baking event, arts and crafts event. So there's always something going on and there's always an opportunity to make new friends in your residence hall. Next, I just wanna point out our close proximity to Manhattan. So we are a quick 40 minute train ride away from the Big Apple, which is wonderful. Students not only go into the city for internship opportunities, uh, but also just for fun. Of course, due to pan the pandemic, things are a little bit different, but traditionally students um, do go in for fun. So we do offer discounted events um, such as concerts, museums, Broadway plays, sporting events, and so forth. So students can certainly take advantage of those discounted tickets and have a wonderful day in Manhattan. We do have a shuttle service that will also take you to and from the train station free of charge for Adelphi students. That shuttle service will also take students to and from Target as well as the Roosevelt Field Mall free of charge. And they also will take you to and from 7th Street free of charge. So 7th Street is a beautiful little downtown area in Garden City. It always um, kind of reminds me of the Hamptons anytime I go there. They have beautiful boutiques, shops, restaurants. They do offer a lot of Adelphi student discounts as well, which is great. 
And in addition to being located to two major train stations, we also are located near two major airports as well. So that not only gives our international students the opportunity to come to and from campus, but it also gives our students the opportunity to study abroad. So we do have a wonderful study abroad office here at Adelphi. You can essentially go for a full semester, a full year, or during a two-week intercession. So for example, um, they did a faculty-led trip for the nursing students down in Costa Rica, where they actually got great hands-on experience um, doing some nursing techniques in Costa Rica. So we do go to every continent except Antarctica. So I apologize if you like penguins, that has not been done yet, but every other continent uh, so far students have gone to and the office, um, excuse me, the study abroad office will actually help you plan out your study abroad travels and pick a program that's best for you. So moving on to how to apply. So first and foremost, we do need your completed application, including your essay. So we do accept the Adelphi application, which is on our website, as well as the common application. We do not have a preference as to which application you choose. However, it does have to include your essay. That gives us an opportunity to learn more about you. Next, your official high school transcript. That has to come directly from your guidance counselor. Just to give you a rough idea, last year's incoming class had an average GPA of around a 3.5, which translates out to about an 88%. Next, traditionally students would need to submit their official SAT or ACT scores. However, we are now test optional for fall 2021 and spring 2022 until further notice. So as a reminder, we are test optional. That means that your SAT or ACT scores are not a requirement. However, if you have taken the SAT or ACT and you do want to submit your scores, if you're really proud of them, you most certainly can do so. Uh, so essentially, just to give you a rough idea, last year's incoming class had an average SAT of around an 1165 to a 1200, an average ACT of around a 24. And we do super scores, so essentially if you've taken it more than one time, we will combine the highest scores from each section and, and that's the score we will evaluate. But just to reiterate, we are test optional for fall 2021, as well as spring 2022 until further notice. And lastly, we need one or more recommendation letters. Uh, I do just want to add in here that you cannot write your own letter of recommendation. I know that sounds silly, but I actually did have a student do that once. So please just keep in mind that you do have to have that recommendation letter come from maybe a counselor or a teacher or a boss or a coach or someone that knows you and can write that recommendation letter on your behalf. And lastly, I'll just add in that here at Adelphi, we take a holistic approach when reviewing applications. So we understand that students are more than just numbers on a page. We are looking at everything holistically. So we are looking at those letters of recommendation. We're looking at the rigor of the courses that you've taken. We're looking at those extracurricular involvement and we're taking that all into consideration to make sure that you're a good fit for Adelphi and ultimately also that Adelphi is a good fit for you. So moving on, we are rolling admissions here at Adelphi, which means that we do not have deadline dates. However, we do have some important dates to keep in mind. First and foremost is December 1st, which is our early action application deadline. So please note that it's not the same as early decision. Early decision is the one that actually binds the student to the school. We do not offer that. What early action is essentially is that if you were to apply to us by December 1st, you would hear a response back from us by December 31st, so you would go into the new year knowing your decision from Adelphi. Next, February 1st is our joint degree program deadline. So as I mentioned earlier with our joint degree programs and the partnering schools for pre-professional tracks, if you were interested in any of those, February 1st is the deadline date for that. Next, March 1st is our rolling application deadline. So essentially you wanna make sure that all your docs are in a row because come May 1st is National College Decision Day, which is when students tend to wear the apparel of their school of choice. Uh, so we do wanna make sure that again, you have all your docs in a row and you have all the information necessary to make a confident choice for yourself. So here at Adelphi, as I mentioned earlier, we are a private institution. So tuition annually is around $40,000, not including room and board. If you were to factor in room and board here on campus as well as a meal plan, it could bring it up to about 55, 56,000 or so, depending on the type of housing style that you select. We do have different options and that they're actually all provided directly on our website. So please feel free to take a look at any point in time. But what's great is that once you apply to Adelphi and are accepted, you're automatically considered for academic scholarship. The things that we're looking at are the rigor of the courses that you've taken, your GPA, and traditionally in the past, your SAT or ACT scores. However, now that we are test optional, that will not be playing a factor. 
We also encourage students to fill out the FAFSA, that is for financial aid consideration. As you can see, a majority of our students do receive some type of financial aid here at Adelphi. So just to give you a rough idea for academic scholarships for first year students, they do range from around $10,000 to $28,000. For transfers, it's slightly different. It's around $12,000 to $17,500. Uh, so lastly, I'll just add in that we do offer um, outside scholarships. They're not directly through Adelphi, but you can simply find them on our website by typing in outside scholarships. There also are scholarships available, as I mentioned earlier, if you are accepted into our honors college, there's honors college scholarship. If you're in our performing arts department, there's talent scholarship available. If you had a parent or a grandparent that attended Adelphi, there is a legacy scholarship available. If you play in one of our 23 NCAA Division II sports teams, there is athletic scholarship. If you are a Boy Scout or a Girl Scout and have received your gold award, there's also a scholarship opportunity for that as well. And if you look on the lower right hand side, we do have a net price calculator located on our website. It's a really, really handy resource that will actually give you a rough idea of what you would be spending here at Adelphi. So if you are curious, please go ahead and use that link um, and site provided and you can certainly get an idea of what you would be spending here at Adelphi. So this beautiful building here is our university center. It is currently undergoing renovations that should be done actually very, very soon. So essentially we are dining, doubling the dining hall space, adding in more collaboration rooms for students, expanding our ballroom, expanding our spirit shop, adding in a full art gallery, and also adding in a full Starbucks. So I know I just started drinking coffee and I am so excited for the full Starbucks. So it is a beautiful building. It's so nice as an alum to see uh, the investments that Adelphi is putting into their students. Uh, so essentially, as I mentioned, this should be done um, very, very shortly. Uh, and as you can see, they're adding in beautiful, beautiful glass windows, as well as amphitheater style seating outside. So something that professors like to do when the weather gets nice is actually hold class outdoors. But now it's nice that they have a designated area to do so. So we're very excited to see the finished product soon. We'd love for you to visit us. We do have virtual campus tours. They are hosted weekdays at either 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. So you essentially can meet with a admissions counselor, go through an information session, and then also go through a, a tour of campus with one of our student ambassadors. So if you're interested in that, please feel free to use that link provided there to sign up. We also are offering safe in-person campus tours. They are offered weekdays. They are one-on-one -on -one with a student ambassador, or you're more than welcome to do a self-guided tour if you prefer. If that is something that's of interest to you, love for you to use the link provided there and register for a time slot. We have our virtual fall open houses coming up, which we are very excited for. Our first one will be held on October 17th and our second one will be held on November 15th. So if that is of interest to you, we really, really encourage you to sign up. It's a wonderful event and it's a great opportunity to meet admissions counselors and learn more about Adelphi. And lastly, we have summer opportunities. We do offer a summer pre-college program. These are for rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors to really get a hands-on experience at Adelphi, take courses in an area of interest, uh, again, get some experience under their belt as to what life at Adelphi would be like, uh, and so forth. So if you are interested in that, please feel free to use the link provided there to find out more information. As you can see here, Adelphi has received so many rankings and recognitions throughout the years. So my personal favorite actually isn't up here, but it's that our college president has won the best Long Island college president for the past two years. So President Rudin is absolutely wonderful and she has done so much for the Adelphi community. We're very lucky to have her. But of course, the most important ranking that we can receive is yours. So we do wanna make sure that you have a wonderful time and please know that we are always happy in here to assist you throughout your journey. And if you do have any questions, once again, please do not hesitate to write them in the Q&A feature. We are really excited to answer them for you. And lastly, I'll just leave off where you can stay in touch with us as well. We've provided our contact information for the admissions department, as well as our social media platforms. So we have our Twitter, our Instagram, as well as our Snapchat. So please, once again, feel free to stay in touch with us and don't hesitate to ask any questions. We are really excited to answer them for you. Awesome. Thank you, Lauren. Um, so actually, before we continue with the question and answer portion, although you are welcome to certainly type anything in the chat now, um, I wanted to give both Sierra and Catherine a, a moment to share a little bit more about their experience as a current 
student, maybe highlighting some of their favorite involvement, um, talking about some fun experiences you had within your major or any special programs you're in. Okay, hi everyone. Um, so one of the things that I really love about Adelphi is the amount of clubs that we have here. So I'm in a club called Arts and Power Adelphi and it's really cool. Our main mission is to just spread the arts all throughout campus. And on campus, we actually have an early learning center. Um, so that's where um, it's like a daycare on campus and it's a great on campus job. A lot of students do work there. But um, with the club that I'm in, Arts and Power Adelphi, we will actually go there and perform a whole bunch of music for the kids and we'll do arts and crafts with them. And it's a lot of fun. That's awesome, thanks. Um, some of my favorite things about Adelphi are how much my professors really um, try to get us involved in things off campus. So for example, I mentioned that I am in the Leavenworth Global Scholars Program. So I went um, on trips to the UN. We were supposed to go to the Climate Summit last spring, but however, um, unfortunately it was canceled because of um, the pandemic. Um, and then currently I'm taking a marine biology class and our lab section is a new field trip every week. So on Fridays, um, we go to different beaches on Long Island and we'll dig up sand, we'll collect um, samples, we identify species. So it's really cool that we're really like getting out and we get to experience what people in these fields really do on a daily basis. So I think that that's a really cool experience. That's awesome. Um, well, thank you both uh, for being here and sharing your experiences for sure. Um, so it definitely looks like we don't have questions at the moment, but uh, happy to kind of go over a few like commonly asked questions I've, I've received from my recent visits. Um, actually, and I might even ask Sierra and Catherine to go first. Um, can you talk about how you have been, how your like daily schedule has been affected by kind of the pandemic and what life is like currently for you on campus? Because it's actually perfect. We have one commuter and one resident student. Um, so one of the main differences, of course, is you have to wear um, a mask on campus at all times. Um, also, we do have a screening that you have to fill out every single day before you come to campus. It's a really short questionnaire just to um, make sure that you haven't had any symptoms or come in contact with anyone that has the virus or anything. And um, all of the professors will ask you to check and show your screening when you go into every single building on campus. There are also temperature checks as well, just to make sure everyone is healthy and staying far apart. So I live on campus. Um, probably one of the biggest differences is that we really can't have visitors in our building at this time. So typically um, you would be allowed to bring in some of your friends um, that either live in different buildings on campus or are commuters. So throughout the day, my friends would come visit me um, stuff like that. Um, but currently there are no, the only people allowed in the building are those that live in the building. Um, so it's a little bit more restricted like that. Um, however, every day I wake up, I'll usually take some of my online classes from my room and then I am still having the opportunity to work on campus, which I'm really thankful for. So I'll come into the office, maybe give a tour, um, and another thing is just our environment of studying on campus. There's tons of outdoor seating right now. Um, and since there is Wi-Fi um, accessible all over campus, um, me and my roommates will find a table outside and we'll just sit outside and do work for a few hours. Whereas I would typically be doing that in a library or in a classroom and, um, but it's really nice. Everybody's outside on campus. You'll see people sitting um, with precautions, of course, mass um, distance, so. Thank you. I know that kind of lends to something, you know, I, I usually would say exactly what Lauren says with what we're excited for at the University Center, and I am still very excited for that Starbucks. But um, 
I'm really excited that we had already planned for this great outdoor amphitheater seating because I think it already is going to give us a leg up for next semester with planning some events that we can actually have in a socially distanced setting so that you can have everybody congregate but outside and have maybe some in-person performances or some in-person talks as long as everyone stays far apart. I know right now like drive-in shows are popular but maybe now it's just big park shows and uh, we can have something similar with their outdoor seating so that that's fantastic um, i'm trying to think of what else we can add at the moment um, otherwise i think you know we're probably good for now um, thank you all so much for joining us uh, and hopefully you're watching the recording now. Um, Lauren shared with you already a way to contact us, but again, please know we are here to help you. Um, and anything you need, reach out. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, thank you. I want to thank all the panelists. You all did a great job. I um, thought it was terrific. I want to remind the students that when uh, you go to close out of the session, you're going to get a little request to answer a quick survey. It's just four questions and we would really like the feedback. So please do that. Um, also remind you that you can sign up for more sessions on the website and that a recording of this session will be available. Um, I think they'll post it within about a week. So that being said, um, thank you again, everybody, and hope everyone has a great day. Bye.